Every week, Action News Jackson investigates local child care centers to show you how they measure up to state guidelines. In this week's Kid Care Report, Letitia Barriola shows you two daycares. According to the inspector, one had issues with the new employee, and the other had cleaning supplies near babies. And I went to both of those daycares to talk to the directors. Only one was willing to answer my questions. My first stop was Cindy C's Day Nursery and Child Care in Crystal Springs. Is Miss Cynthia here? The inspector tagged the center with one class two violation, which could pose a threat to the health and safety of a child, according to DCF guidelines. That violation was for a staff member leaving one, two, and three year olds alone. Cindy C's was also cited for three class three violations, which according to DCF could pose a low risk of harm to children. Those were for an employee not completing training requirements. The director wasn't there when I stopped by. Workers told me to give her a call. Thanks, guys. Hey, kiddos. I got the director, Cynthia Coleman, on the phone. She told me the violations involved one new employee who is still learning the ropes and having a tough time paying for all the classes DCF requires. Coleman told me she's working with that employee to get her up to speed. The next stop in this week's Kid Care Report is Honey Bear's Daycare. This daycare was tagged with one class two violation. DCF says bleach and Lysol were under a sink in an unlocked cabinet. The teacher removed the items and put them on a shelf. No one wanted to talk to me about the violation in person or on the phone at Honey Bear's Daycare. Two daycares in this week's Kid Care Report, both missed the mark. To see the latest clean inspections, visit actionnewsjacks.com and look for the Kid Care icon. In the studio, Letitia Barriola, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.